Hi, my name is Megan Setti. I'm going to take you through a restorative yoga pose that comes from my book, Restorative Yoga at Home. If you have the book, it's on page 20 and 21, Supported Reclining Cobbler's Pose or Supported um, Bada Konasana. So for this one, you'll need a couple of bolsters or some blankets or some towels. Um, I'm also going to use a block, but you can use some phone books. So I'll show you a couple different ways to set this up and then you can experiment to find the right position for your body. So we'll start by taking one bolster or a couple stacks of pillows behind me and come to sitting on the floor in front of that bolster with your leaving a little bit of space. Um, and make sure if you're doing this pose that you read some of the cautions about your lower back. So if you've got any injuries in your lower back, then this might not be the right position for you. The other bolster, or if you've got a big folded blanket, will go underneath your knees. So you can bring the inside of your feet to touch and take the bolster underneath. So you've got a little bit of support here so you're not stretching too much in the groin. And then you might be comfortable in this position with this number of props. So you can try that. It takes quite a bit of flexibility in your back and hips to be here, but if it's possible, you can just lie back onto the bolster and relax your shoulders down from your ears. Now, if that position isn't comfortable or you feel like you're tipping back too much, another option would be to get a bit more support. So in this case, I'll use another blanket and stack that on top. So you could just use a couple of blankets or a couple of cushions. So just kind of finding the right position to make that comfortable. So again, using my hands to kind of lean back and I'm letting my tailbone kind of slide forward so that my lower back isn't really folding in the back, but a little bit more of kind of an angled movement for the spine. So it's not quite as intense. Now that'll give me a deeper opening for the chest but it doesn't feel comfortable for my neck because it's tipped back too far. So again, I'm gonna use my hands to push myself up, and now I'm gonna use a towel to give my head just a little bit more support. So kind of guess where you think it needs to go. Again, use your hands to kind of help you lower back. And then you can bring the pillow or the towel underneath your head, and now my head's in a comfortable position. So I need to wiggle around a little bit to adjust my back and my hips to find a comfortable position. Now you can rest your hands on your belly or you can let the hands rest at the sides. Now if you find even this is still too far back, then you can use something to support either the blankets or the bolsters. I'm going to use a block, but um, phone books, big textbooks, big dictionaries, if you still have those at home, would work really well. So I'll lift up, I'll show you what this looks like. I'll lift up the bolster and put the block underneath it and make sure it's stable because you're gonna be leaning back on it. You don't want it to fall over. And then I'll put the blanket back on. I'll put my towel back. So again, come down to sitting in front of the bolster. Take the other one back underneath the knees. Bring the insides of your feet to touch and then maybe just sort of tugging that into the spot that's comfortable for you. And then leaning back. Notice I'm sliding my hips forward so it's a more comfortable position for my back. And I'm supporting my head. And again, deciding if it's more comfortable for hands on your belly or hands at your sides. If you find that this is quite intense for your shoulders or your chest, you could actually take another pillow underneath your arms to lift them up. So once you got into a comfortable position, stay here for a few minutes. You can close your eyes, relax your breathing, and remember to relax your belly. When you come out of the position after you've been here for a while, you want to lift your knees up and you can use your hands to help do that. And then you can use your feet to maybe push that bolster away. Now, two options for coming out of this position. You can either use your hands on the floor to help you lift your head up and slowly come up. Or if it's okay for your spine and your back, you can start to turn over to your side using your hands and your knees and just come down to laying on your side, maybe taking hands underneath your head and just rest there for a few minutes. 
So if you're interested in seeing more poses or learning how to do them, getting extra tips and cautions, have a look at my website to see this booklet. You can purchase it online, either in the print copy or downloadable PDF. My website is megansettyyoga.com. Thanks.